I was thinking the other day about how people hold expectations for things and other people in life and are very often let down. And it occurred to me that the reason that I'm so happy in life is because I just don't hold expectations. Sometimes I find myself like unconsciously thinking about the way that something might be, but like I'm not let down when it's not that way. You know, it's not like I'm hoping for the thing or the person to be that way. Like I might be like projecting an idea, which even might lead to some type of downfall for me. I don't know. It's, it hasn't really been anything noticeable or recognizable, but it's just so interesting. It really is. I think that people would find themselves a lot happier in life if they learn to let go of expectations for other people and other things. Not to mention, I mean, unless there's, I guess, some type of like agreement made between two or more people, it's really not anyone's responsibility to show up for other people's expectations, you know? And um, it's just, it's interesting to think about, you know, it, it really is. I'm grateful because my parents didn't raise us with expectations, you know, they weren't like, you need to do this, you need to be this, you need this, that. They didn't, you know, they, they didn't fill our minds with the ideas that we needed, we needed anything or we needed to be any specific way, you know, to, to be successful or to be happy. And I'm grateful as heck for that because not many parents are that way. And I know that a lot of my friends' parents, they instilled this idea that you need this, you need that, you need all these different things to be okay or to be successful or to be happy. And oftentimes it's bogus expectations where the bar will just never be reached. And it's just, it's unnecessary. And so like for us, it was just a, a potential opportunity for us to experience life in whatever way we wanted to, which left so much room for fulfillment, which I'm grateful for. It's the reason that I'm so happy today. And I don't hold this stuff for anyone else, you know? I'm, I'm grateful as heck for that. I really am. But I think that this goes back to life, you know, letting go of expectations of life, of people, realizing that literally anything can happen. 2020 is a prime example that anything can happen in life. And it's just so important to ground with that and understand that and just kind of like let go. Like, there's no reason to hold on to anything. Nothing is guaranteed, you know? Anything can fall through or fall apart. And it's important to understand that because if you do understand that, it'll really allow you to let go of everything that you've been holding on to. You don't need to hold on to anything. You really don't. Life is so much bigger than that. You don't get to take any of this stuff to the grave with you. I really believe that a lot of people are very unaware of their own mortality and how much it's, just, it's, it's a fact that one day you and I are not going to be here physically, right? I mean, of course, energetically, energy, you know, it, it, it can't die, it only transfers or transforms, whatever it is. But physically, you and I are not going to be here someday. And I think that a lot of people are very out of touch with that. And if they were more in touch with that, you know, things would be different. Things would be a lot different. I think it's important to really ground with an understanding of that because a lot of people wouldn't be chasing the unnecessary things that they are, you know? People would actually take the time to look up at the sky, realize how beautiful life is, you know? And just <laughs> be here now, as Ram Dass says. It's real. Life is real. And it's here for you to enjoy it. Make it whatever you want to. <laughs>